What's up YouTube? So today we are going to do another Let's Play on Hogwarts Legacy. The Adventures of Harry Bomb. And today, actually I want to kind of go over a couple of things before I get started. Um, one of which, I recently read that this game got boycotted. I never heard of these people, but I heard that it got boycotted by... A group called Games Done Fast. I guess speedrunning is a thing. I didn't even know that was even a thing until I read this article. That people actually rush through games. So, anyway, apparently the game was banned from them. And so as a response, I have decided to amend my name on this Let's Play series. And we are going to do, we are going to call it Games done slow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause A, I'm old. I can afford to take my sweet ass time. And yes. Absolutely. Games are gonna get done slow. <laughs> that have been said. The other thing I wanna point out is I have uh, been testing out a couple of tweaks on the game some performances things I had a little issue I couldn't tell if I was in um, true full screen like I was playing before or not because I noticed it wasn't doing the the thing where it changes the resolution uh, because I tried a steam guide to help enhance performance and I kind of didn't really care for the way it was affecting things um, I'm still kind of testing it out but I tried to test a additional item out. It, while it doesn't really say in my settings here, actually I hit the wrong thing. Let me come out of that. Um, there we go. It does look like the resolution changed, although it is still telling me that I am in a 1920 by 1800 resolution. The screen definitely looks like it's in a lower resolution so I don't know if there's some conflicts there or maybe because I recently grabbed up that Merlin's cloak maybe something glitched out I don't know but one of the things that I have tried um, is that I am playing the game now in DirectX 11 so I wanted to test and see if that gained a performance increase on the game. May experience a couple of graphical glitches, I don't know. But curiosity got the better of the cat. Uh, it does look slightly a little different. I mean, each time I loaded the game, there was some lady standing over here, and they're no longer standing here talking. So I don't know if that's a game thing or just because I swapped it out or what but <clears throat> I thought it would be interesting to test out nonetheless throughout this playthrough and see if performance is any better so to start off games done slow obviously I'm going to continue on with my quest here and depending on how many times it takes me to beat this guy I may edit out if it like, takes me 20 times to have to fight this dude. I'm probably just going to put the final time in the video. Because <laughs> you guys don't need to watch me get my ass handed to me over and over and over and over. Yeah, but um... Yeah, it is what it is. The other thing I want to mention, um, while I haven't really did a whole lot of commentary in my previous videos, that's um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm trying my best not to really talk over the dialogue, because in my opinion that could probably be a little bit of, the, of an annoyance. So I'm, I'm really trying not to do that. Um, I'm trying to basically bide my time and do that whenever people aren't talking. You know, and NPCs, you know, aren't running us through story dialogue and stuff. Uh, but so far, uh, the game doesn't seem bad. I mean, you know, I haven't minded it too much. So, I mean, it seems like they, they fairly 
did a decent job on it, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to get a little more to the exciting part of the game because there's only so much story talking I can handle, you know, which is probably why it's been a few days between my playthroughs because honestly, I kind of needed a break, so I, I had to go play something where I could just mindlessly blow stuff up for a little while and blow off steam and also I may end up going AFK and if I do of course for you guys I'll let you know um so if because um as if you watch the channel you know I mean I have a situation going on with my dog ferocious uh, I have to go fund me running in the, in the link in the description uh, he's been a little under the weather, so I may have to go AFK, but really isn't going to affect you, because in YouTube timeline, you know, uh, it'll be like going into a DeLorean and being instantaneous, like some Back to the Future crap, so. But as a courtesy, I will probably, you know, mention I'll be right back, and then I'll magically be right back, because, you know, hey, I'm a wizard. With all of that having been said, uh... Yeah, let's get on with the show. Thank you, Toto. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Alright, you get him, girl. I'll hide behind you. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at him! We have to wear him down! Oh. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Arrest him on it. Ah. Man, I'm running out of all the heels. Uh. Guys, guys. I don't got nothing <laughs> to throw at him. Oh, that was so close. Oh, hit back. Oh. Good. That was scary. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? 
We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, that's cool. And I do mind putting your oh, thing back hello together there. out of post. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. Alright, you go talk. I'm not in the mood. Repair. I wish I could clean my room like this. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Levioso. <laughs> Repair. More damage. Wait on. Is that a pig? Now I gotta be no. Oh, get over here. Uh, yeah, I'm making it whatever, man. I done lost the page. Levioso. Oh, that's not it. Must be number two. Accio. There we go. Oh, I have to collect two of those things. Is there another one? All right, whatever. Let's go back to clean up, dude. Revelio. Repairo. Anything else? What's up, booty tat? Oh. Alright, man, that's one pet per customer. And I got to go speak to the shopkeeper. If I can remember where the door is. Um, the door in here. Is this is the door. We were just talking about you. I bet you were. Alright man, do I need to walk up closer to you to do this? Uh, 
่ายมากจับกิวอันนี้ว่าสเปกโอเคจะสวอร์ตว่าที่ E บัตน์ให้พูดกับคนแต่เฮ้ยไปที่สถานีของเราเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ย I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. Wow! Did I really freeze up? I think I froze up. Yeah, uh, it escaped. Maybe. <clears throat> Dang. Well, I thought I froze up, so that was kind of rude. You're gonna freeze the game in the middle of the man talking. I mean, you know, I'd say they need to work on their timing. So, your current defense and blah blah offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Blah 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 blah. Alright, so. Select cloak, robes, gear, press spot. Okay, yeah, alright. Equip the robe. What if I don't want to equip the robe? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Right. Good one what? to know. Wait on me, girl. You know, I don't like the fact that they faced his uh, video, or I mean his audio out when 
was going through all of that. Yeah. That could have been done a whole lot better. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to the single handedly took down a tro troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. What's oh, time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Well, I wanted to sit here and drink more butterbeer. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Must return to your room for the night. Access the map.
pull up, I want to stay out and potty. Click Hogwarts map button. Switch to Hogwarts map, okay. Bus travel to your room. Uh, okay. South wing of Hogwarts. I guess South wing. The Gryffindor travel room. Okay. So still slow loading and still getting a couple of stutters on the video talking portion. Right, he's in. So a good point to do a save. Okay, I have four more slots. Alright. Good to know. Definitely will do a backup. Well, not that I don't do it between plays anyway. Alright, so. Oh, to read my mail. Dude, now, but oh, escaped open the old guy. Okay. Our posts will be sent when characters you met have requests or updates for you. Select Professor Fig to see his owl post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Yeah, I'll be right there, man. Although I could probably use some more potion. Maybe not the way to go. You know, I do like the fact that, um, I don't have to manually hit a button for doors open. You just automatically open them. You don't see that very often. Usually you have to hit like enter or E button or whatever to trigger your interact button. But I do like that. It's kind of convenient. What's up, homie? Stop being nosy. You know what? Let me see. Is there anything in this chest for me? That's a level lie. But. I do want to check out, um, Quest. Hmm. 
Okay, I thought there were some side quests to do. That's the only one I could have sworn it was more than that. Could have swore there was more than that. Did they disappear on me? Is that the thing? I thought we could go back and do them. At least that was my understanding. Unless maybe I misread it. I don't know. We'll go talk to that dude. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Well, it's good to know I'm glad you are pleased to be included. What's up, ghost dude? Appears I won't be going up there. Well, why the hell that? Seems that's off limits to me. Huh. All right. Let's see. We can do it like this. Ah, let's press big, drop one round. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go this way. Easy hmm. has a special knack. It's tormenting Professor Black. You scoundrel! I do not pay for all your cool things to be rewarded with a house full of hexes! Your I never claimed to be the most directional person in the world. Oh. Yeah, open the door. I'd actually say that's nice. Actually, it doesn't look that bad playing in DX uh, 11. Yeah. Oh, it keeps going like this. I may have to postpone the rest of my let's play until uh I get an upgrade or figure out how to make it play better. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Can I help you? Yeah, what's up, man? 
Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Absolutely. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Wands, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! He's just excited. We'll make you regret signing up. Alright, so break yellow spells with control spells, like levitation spells, let me go, so, target lock, click track your enemy, blah blah, okay, target blah blah, okay. Let's see. Akio, repair Bringo. Explosive. Akio. Levioso. Levioso. Come on. Levioso. Levioso. Confringo. Confringo. Oh, been defeated. That looks painful. Care to try another round? Yes, yes, I would. Don't count me out yet. Brilliant. Right. Yeah, I want a rematch on that. Oh no, Mr. Sure. Levioso. Sendo. Springo. It's Fulso. Levioso. Lumos. Repairer. Oh. Revelio. Confringo. Ah, crappy spell. That looks painful. Care to try another round? Yes. Don't count me out yet. Yes. One more time. One more bite. Levioso. Levioso. Yeah. What a duel. Damn. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Thank you. Uh, I 
guess I'll go see the professor. I'll go see what the professor wants. Stand in front of them little circle. Ah, yeah. Looks like his wife is still chasing him in the afterlife. Beat his behind. Whee! Poor guy. We. You know, I did think of something though. I think part of my issue is the fact uh, with with some of the stutters and stuff. Also, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I am running OBS too while trying to record this, so that may be playing a part in it. I do have to take that into account when I'm grading performance. All right, I guess we're gonna wait. I made him wait, he made me wait, so it is what it is. I guess I'll walk up to him and talk. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're off yeah. the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, a restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Well, already then. You let him know to expect me. I want to see something. <laughs> I'm just curious. If I can remember. I 
I F. Change appearance. There we go. Yeah. Let's go with that. I had to sit there and actually watch that stream for a Merlin's cloak. So I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Yeah, well, what do you mean you're not ready for it just yet? Perhaps I'll come back to this. Quest may level or total requirements to activate them. Quest fine. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. Alright. So I'm blocked out of my quest. I should come back to this another time. Alright, dude. Seriously, come on. What other quest do we have? Let me cycle. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Yeah. You come back to it. Hmm. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelus Black. Headmaster. All right. Well, that's good information to have, but you know, this cloak don't look too bad. I've seen people on the forum say it looks kind of poopy, but it, it actually don't look that bad. It, it 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 don't look that bad. I mean, it's. <clears throat> Accurate with the colors that you would see a Merlin magician in, kind of. So, I mean, at least according to a lot of artwork I've seen. So, I mean, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. I've always Dude. said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, they got a toilet in here. Oh, can I pee? No. Dang, that would have been totally cool. Can I poop? As a pooper. Oh, Alright, man. And I. Oh, that's something they need to patch in, devs. You have to patch in a pooper. The ability to come pee pee and poo and wash your hands. And then dry them because washing and cleaning your hands is very, very important. Alright. That is awesome that they put a bathroom in here. That's what you call paying attention to detail, you know. A lot of dev teams would not have done that, but, you know, I, I'm impressed. It is all downhill from there. I have a pooper in Hogwarts. Man, it is all good at this point. 
Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. I told you. That wife was going to whip that ass. Oh, man, I lost him. I was going to watch it. I wonder if you get a quest if you chase them down. No. Oh, I, I'm not trying to do that. What kind are of you mind. up to now? Oh, none of your business. That's what I'm up to. None of your business. Being impressed by a poop. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, can I go out? Come on, don't freeze. Come on. Let's see if I talk to people if I get a question. You don't want to talk to me? I don't want to talk to you either. What's up, people? I watched a bunch of Twitch streams to get this cloak. Y'all better talk to me. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright. Nobody talking? And the proverbial freeze. <clears throat> wow, that was rough. Oh, that was kind of cool. Honestly, this game probably wouldn't be as have the issues it had if they um, had a whole lot more graphical tweaking options. I mean, I know they wanted to look fancy, they wanted to look nice, but technically, if they had actually took the time out to give you a lot of tweaking options in the game, the requirements to run it necessarily wouldn't need to be as high as they were. People wouldn't have to go through all types of headaches to be able to run the the thing on their machine. Because you guys got to keep in mind, I am running the game on eight gigs of RAM on my computer, you know, with a four gig video card. So there are people with better machines than I do who meet not only the minimum requirements but above. I mean, you got people with damn near NASA computers and they are absolutely having issues trying to run this game the fact that I'm even able to even play it period you know is I'm lucky but I'm also having a lot of issues and I think part of my issue is I'm in an area where I'm trying to render a whole lot all at once for the first time so I think that's part of my issue there. Can you guys talk? No? Let's go. I also think if I wasn't running OBS, I'd probably have slightly a little less issues. So there is that to consider. So if I was playing this, you know, like normally, then. I think I'm not gonna say I wouldn't have issues. I'm I'm just saying they probably would be less. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Man, this is a really nice place. <laughs> like this is massively huge. I gotta give them credit.
JK would be proud. Professor Howell was carrying some pearl dust one day. Obviously, I asked her if it was for lunch. Right. Her face just seemed Thank you. Me. you think I just beat her at gobstone? Uh, you? Not a nice effect. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Absolutely, homegirl. I got you. Alright, so one thing I'm gonna do... Go back to here. Then we'll go back to my normal uniform, uh, just to kind of be in character a little bit. Yeah. That way I look like everybody else. Okay, so she tried Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Revelio. Lumos. This spot could be a clue. Alright, so that's the steps. Yeah. You got a what the freaking statue over there. I don't see no statue over there, so Revelio. Reveal yourself. Lumos. Hmm. Accio! Lumos! Find a location depicted in pain. You know where it is. I bet you know where it is. You better tell me now. Don't make me beat it out of you. I tried transforming a rabbit into a dinner plate the other day. Ended up with a platter that had long ears. Alright. Oh, what's down here?
Huh. The library. Any good books? Anything with pretty pictures? Okay. Let's go back. We'll mess up on our own time. This looks like the location from oh. the painting. What yeah, could yeah. be so special about it? Revelio! Revelio! Alright. The statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This is a statue with an, uh, an integrating grind. Depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarbry, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's. I don't even know how to say that. Oculus unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Also, it's kind of like a love potion, but it's just like a Buddy potion. Got it. Alright. Alright, so I found the location depicted in the painting. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, cool. So am I supposed to... Ha! Oh, I no. knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Cool. Ah, I solved it, you did it. Ha, 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 ha. My little sisters will be so happy to see me over the holidays. They madly tried to cast spells at me with their toy wands. Mildly annoying. Okay. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it you have a knack for solving riddles natty's good at that too so is meat although he does tend to over explain well i'm glad someone figured it out the yeah moth. you get it next time i should have seen that you, you get him next time homegirl you get him next time <clears throat> right so tight. Okay. All right, guys. I think uh, I'm gonna call it here. Test out a few more things, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. So so far, uh, the game is not bad. I think I think they did a very nice design on the world. Uh, very detailed. Very large. Definitely have to do some tweaks in terms of making it playable, at least for me. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of trying different things to make it hit or miss for them. So hopefully, you know, maybe down the road they will patch, you know, some additional alternatives or whatever the graphic options or whatever regarding the game. If not, uh, well, you know. There are some 
things you can try that are on Nexus and some guides on Steam that you can look over, you know, to in order to try to find what works for you. I'm going to play around with this, like I said, probably a little more. I'll see if I can get it to run slightly a little better and kind of see where we go from there. Uh, one of the things that I kind of noticed that might have caused me some issues is I know Windows 11 recently had a big update. And I'm wondering if that might have messed something up for me performance-wise as well, too. Because that also tends to happen. But overall, so far, I think it's a good game. Definitely some puzzle solving, running around, talking to this person, talking to that person. Uh, you definitely do get kind of a feel uh, for being in the Hogwarts uh, or the Harry Potter verse, whatever you call it, universe. You def it definitely does a good job delivering that feel. Um, I kind of wish you could, I guess get your wand and just kind of run and go you know have that option so it'd be kind of nice maybe to get an opportunity to do that at some point during the playthrough um i can't really comment i haven't deviated too much off course and i definitely have to get me some more potions so i probably will work on that on the next video but uh i definitely would say they, of course, I haven't finished the game, obviously, so I don't know this yet, but uh, I would definitely say they, they would want to have things in the game, you know, to, once you finish the storyline thing, you know, to keep your interest in playing, you know, without having to, like, completely start a whole new character. Um, maybe some kind of repeatable quest, you know, different little things, you know, to add in, into the world, you know to keep you interested and keep you entertained and make you want to interact. Uh, a lot of games like this, I did hear that this was originally going to be an MMO before they decided to turn it into a single player game. In a lot of ways, uh, it's kind of good they did the single player game because there can be a lot of M issues with MMOs, especially with monetization and stuff. So I would say that's something better looked at in the future you know, as a separate game or whatever, you know, um, like a Hogwarts Legacy 2, you know, or Hogwarts Legacy Online, that would be a lot better. I think, a, you know, single player game was definitely the better route for them to go in regards to this, especially for those who don't want to play online, you know, it, it definitely, definitely was the way to go, but overall, I think they've done a decent job, um, you know, I definitely gravitate towards sandbox games or whatever, you know, that have that open world feel. And so far, it does feel very MMO-ish, and it does have that open world feel. Hopefully, we'll get some of that sandbox, you know, um, elements into the game or whatever, and we'll get to explore more of that as we go on. Anyway, tell me you guys' thoughts in the video on what you think of the game, you know, if you played it, you know, or completed it, or, you know, your, your thoughts. And, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next Let's Play through, so, um, take care, stay safe, like, and subscribe, have a good one, everybody.